What's up everyone? So my name's Russ and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a new hydroxy cell that I have created. Uh, I'm calling it the rustic spiral cell and uh, you can see why. Right now I'm just wanting to create um, you know hydroxy to play with and to use for other experiments and then later I'll create it more efficiently. More efficiently I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the cell looks like. This is it. It is made out of quarter inch stainless steel tubing. It has seven turns. And that's what it looks like. These are both isolated from each other. Uh, this is plain tap water, no electrolyte added. It's a little brown from earlier experimenting. Um, right here, I've got my meter set up, and I've got this hooked up to my unfinished home built power supply. Uh, this is producing a square wave right now at about 10 kilohertz. So what I'll go ahead and do is shoot the cell here and turn this up and here we go. That's 10 amps at about 30 volts. So you can tell it's, it's producing a pretty good amount. Um, I shut it off. Just wanted to show you that real quick. And it is cooking, and the water is still lukewarm, and I've been running it for about five minutes or so. Um, but it produces quite a bit of, um, of hydroxy, and I'll be playing with this. Um, and it is tubing, uh, as you can tell. You can see that it is stainless steel tubing. It's actually hydraulic line. And um, I will go ahead and light a few bubbles so you can tell it truly is hydroxy. Alright, I'm going to light this little patch. Let's turn it on again and I'll light a few more. That's about 5 amps right there at about 16 volts. Blew my torch out. So there you go, that's my new cell design, and uh, what I'm going to be doing with that is um, experimenting with some Stan Myers work, and um, this torch here I'm going to turn into a hydroxy torch, and play around with that, uh, and like I said I'm just, uh, I'm more concerned right now about creating the hydroxy because I'm going to build a, um, a Stan Myers gas transformer. Um, guy by the name of Alex Petty um, has built some and they are working and then there's been other replications and they uh, say there's some good news about it. Um, I'll put the link to Alex Petty's uh, blog in there. Uh, I talked to him yesterday about it a little bit and uh, very good information. So um, that's it. That's all I got for you. I'll show you the cell again real quick. This is what it looks like. Alright, this was wrapped around an inch and a quarter pipe. So the inner diameter is just slightly bigger than an inch and a quarter here. And um, what I'm going to do again real quick is, I'm again I added no electrolytes to this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on again so you can see it. That's 10 amps at... 30 volts DC square wave pulsed right now see it's producing quite a bit um, I'm actually very not surprised but kind of kind of surprised um, although it is quite a bit of amps that's uh, that's looking good with no electrolyte none at all that's my meters if you want to see them 10 amps right under 30 volts and uh, that's it for now, folks. I'm going to build a little chamber for this and see what kind of liters per minute I can get out of it. And we'll build some, uh, some Stan Myers gas core transformers. Read up on that. Very important information. It's in the description. This is Russ. See ya.